right guys, welcome to my new video. It's Nike here. I wanted to talk today about warrior runes. Um, for a while, I have made it quite clear that I do not care for Superior Rune of the Thief. Um, I've laid out my opinion before. I will talk about it again at the end of this video. But for the most part, I can say what I'm going to say is that Superior Rune of the Thief I don't think is a good choice for the general player. I think it's only appropriate for people doing specific record runs of specific bosses for everyone else for 99.9% .9 of the other warrior players out there you should be either using rune of the eagle or rune of the scholar now within the rune of the scholar or rune of the eagle debate there is uh some there is some debate on which is better for a while i have been recommending people use scholar runes um because I noticed that in a lot of the critical situations, I've had 100% health, and I've been maintaining my Scholar buff, and in my opinion, that made Scholar better. However, I decided to look at it a little bit more analytically, and actually do a test and see uh, the difference between Eagle and Scholar Room. So what I did was I min-maxed each build perfectly with infusions and food and etc. so they both have exactly 100% crit chance. Um, and I went to the golem, and I chose a 4 million HP golem, and I auto-attacked it to death. That way there is no chance that rotations will come into play. Messing one up for one, messing one up for another, it's just straight auto-attacks. And this will ensure that uh, the comparison is 100% apples to apples between eagle and scholar runes. And then we can see what the DPS difference is. And if Scholar Rune has a big DPS advantage, then even if you lose your Scholar buff, we can still recommend using Scholar. On the other hand, if Eagle has higher DPS, then it's a clear-cut situation of Eagle always being better. And if it's about tied, then it will come down to whether or not uh, you think you can keep 100% Scholar uptime. And in a situation like that, I think it's unrealistic to say that you will have 100% Scholar uptime. Um, so essentially, tie goes to Eagle. But anyway, I wanted to do this comparison, run it apples to apples as, as controlled an experiment as possible, and show you guys the results. So without further ado, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do these, uh, the videos and you'll see the DPS. And I'm going to play them at, at much faster speed so I don't bore you to death. But anyway, guys, stay tuned and watch the videos. And then I will have a conclusion at the end where I give my thoughts. So anyway, stick around.
All right, guys, so as you can see from the results, that uh, Scholar Runes were one half of 1%, a little bit more than that, actually, uh, one half of 1% better than Eagle Runes. And that is assuming 100% Scholar uptime. As you can see from that, if Scholar uptime drops at all, the damage would uh, be significantly reduced. Um, so in most real-world raiding or, fr or especially fractal situations, Eagle Rune is going to outperform Scholar. However, there will be times, and it, it, it is frustrating, where you will be DPSing a boss and you'll look down and you'll notice, oh man, I'm at full HP and my HP bar isn't moving, I'm not taking any damage, I'm just just working at maximum efficiency here. I wish I had Scholar Runes because I would be doing one half of 1% more damage. But you really, it's not fair uh, to think that way, that's that's cherry picking uh, of sorts. And you have to look at the big picture in that there will be times when you will take damage and you will lose your Scholar buff. And if, even if you lose your Scholar buff momentarily, you will still end up one half of, uh, or if you lose your Scholar buff, mo even momentarily, Eagle Runes will pull ahead. And I, th I think that is the lesson and the big takeaway from, from this. So, with that said, what do I recommend? What I recommend is, again, most people do not play Thief Runes. I think Thief Runes are the sort of thing that should not be considered the default, they should not be recommended, and I think it's irresponsible that uh, build sites uh, are recommending Thief Runes. Um, I'm sure I'll get people in the comments disagreeing with me and telling me that Thief Runes are great and they're always good. But you guys got to understand that the overwhelming majority of players uh, that are going to these sites to copy builds are not going to be able to maintain the flanking bonus at a high enough uptime to justify the Thief Rune. So with that said, almost all of them would be better off with Scholar or Eagle. And and uh, another caveat to Thief Runes is that even the people that are good enough to maintain the flanking bonus optimally are going to be in a situation where there's still times, there's still bosses, and there's still encounters, and there's still events where, where Thief isn't optimal. And those players are either too lazy to change and they just run a suboptimal rune, which sucks, or they have to change every encounter and they have to keep a mental catalog. Okay, this encounter, thief runes are good. The next encounter, thief runes aren't good. And they have to just remember all the different possible encounters that they fight in raids or fractals or wherever and uh, keep track of whether or not thief runes are good for that. I don't think thief runes thief runes justify it for anyone who isn't doing a record attempt on the specific bosses where thief runes uh, have high flanking uptime. So with that said, I do not recommend anyone besides guilds that are going for record runs uh, use thief runes and uh, instead you should be using scholar or eagle. And from the testing that we've seen today, uh, I think it's pretty clear to me that for the most part, Eagle is the superior choice. Um, it was, uh, it's very close, but again, Scholar with 100% uptime still only barely beats Eagle by, by half a percent. So with that said, in, in reality, Eagle is going to outperform Scholar in almost every real world scenario. So it's very easy for me to recommend Eagle Rune as the go-to rune choice for for all warriors out there um yeah and, and that's basically it so it might change a little bit in fractals um that's the one consideration is that you will you will over crit cap in fractals um with with eagle rune uh, even if you turn all your gear berserker 
uh, you will, I believe you'll still over crit cap in fractals. And then Eagle starts to lose some efficiency. So there is an argument to be made. I'm not really a fractal player. I don't really care about fractals anymore. Um, especially uh, min-maxing for fractals. I, I, when I play fractals, I just run whatever raid build. I don't even think about a specific build for fractals. If you, dif if you uh, are different and you do min-max for fractals, uh, I would, I would, th I would look uh, at at different options, but for the most part, I'm going to uh, from this day on until there's a balance patch that changes things, recommend that most 99.9% uh, .9 of warrior players out there use Superior Rune of the Eagle as their default go-to rune choice uh, for general gaming as well as raids, etc. So anyway, guys. That's it. I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments below. Please leave them. I will respond probably to the, the best ones and also the worst ones. And the comments that are sort of in the middle, I probably won't respond to. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.